All right, guys, welcome back. Bath Salts here with uh, another how-to uh, tutorial. Today we're going to go over plumbing, how to do it, what you need to do it, and we're going to try to get this done in an, under a couple of minutes here. So uh, first thing you're going to need, you're going to need to find a sink. Uh, we can also use a toilet too, doesn't matter. In order to actually pick up the sink, we're going to hit this um, pickup option here. It's the cabinet. First option will be pickup. We're going to click on that. And we're going to need a pipe wrench or a wrench, um, which wrenches are pretty, you can find those within a week usually. So we're going to click on pick up, and we have a 75% chance to pick it up. And there we go. There's our, there's our sink. Next, we're going to do a toilet. And we got both. So that would be step one, actually getting yourself a toilet or, and or a sink. And next up, we're going to go over step two on how to actually uh, place it down. All right, next up is going to be actually placing down the toilet or sink. It does have to be within a walled structure, so I built a little shack just to symbolize kind of how the mechanics work here. We're going to go inside into our little shack here, and we're going to do the same thing similar to what we did when we picked up the sink. Instead, we're going to choose the second option, which is place. Um, we're going to place our sink here. Well, again, with the wrench, and we're going to place our toilet there. All right, now that we've got that set up, how do we actually plumb it? We're going to go over that next in part three. All right, guys. So we have found our sink. We found our toilet. We've placed them down inside of our structure or house. Next up is how do we actually get water to them? Well, you're going to need a couple of things here. First off, you're going to need a rain collector barrel. Um, Ideally, you would want the one here that's circular. This is a tier two rain collector barrel. The one on the right is a tier one collector barrel. What are the differences? Well, the second tier one's just gonna hold more water for you. Um, also, you're gonna need different levels of carpentry skill in order to build those. You can build the square shaped one at carpentry level four. You can build the circular one at carpentry level seven. Um, so you can theoretically get this set up at level four, but the other problem you're gonna have is when you're running plumbing, it needs to run vertically. The water has to run down to your sink or your toilet. And to, in order to get elevation like that, you're gonna need stairs. Stairs require level seven carpentry. So even though you could theoretically do this at level four with the square rain collector barrel, you're really gonna need level seven to set this up properly. But once it rains, these fill up with water, we're going to go down to our sink and our toilet, and we're actually going to plumb them, and that'll be step four. All right, and we're back here at step four. We've got our stairs, we've got our rain collector barrels, we've placed our sink and our toilet. How do we actually plumb these things? Very simple. With a pipe wrench in hand, you're going to right-click on the sink, and you're going to see we'll have an option to plumb white hanging sink. We're going to click that. There we go, plumbed. Now we'll go to the toilet, plumb fancy toilet, plumbed. Just like that, even though the water's been shut off, you've got plumbing again. Not only is it just nice to have working water again, the real reason you want to set this up is that any water is going to be filtered when it comes out of the sink, or even if you drink out of the toilet, it doesn't matter. Um, otherwise, if you were to just take the water straight from the barrels, it's going to be tainted, and then you'll have to heat it up with a campfire, an oven, it's just an, an extra step that's going to slow you down. So I highly recommend level up that carpentry skill to seven as fast as possible. Get yourself your plumbing set up. That way it doesn't matter when the water goes off. You'll be all set. And yeah, hopefully this tip helps you out. Hopefully um, you guys learned something from this. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, check out some of my other videos too. We do some other tutorial videos. We do some Let's Plays. And if you guys liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you really liked it, consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.